Hi. Whoever's watching out there, are you coming with me to Snowdonia? Hi guys, Oliver here. Whenever I mention Snowdonia, people respond to Oh, you want to go up to Mount Snowdon and uh, the Snowdon Railway and... No, I haven't been there and I wasn't interested in Mount Snowdon. My destination point for that trip was Lynogwen or the Ogwen Valley. Beautiful lake, iconic boathouse, many of you have seen it already and a lovely triangular shaped mountain which is called Travan. So, this is where we go in. Off to the motorhome, it's a four hour drive and let's see how it goes. So, just arrived in uh, Snowdonia in Wales, exactly at uh, Lynogwen. As you can see, the sun just went down behind me, but I'm here for one particular scene and when I turn it around, you may know that the camera has already captured something. Unfortunately, there is not a single cloud left in the sky. Oops, better. Um, yeah, you know how photographers are. Actually, I was hoping for a bit of clouds, but as you can see, absolutely nothing. Doesn't matter, I'm looking forward to having a quiet night. And uh, yeah, try again tomorrow. Let's see. Well, after a quiet night, we woke up early, had a look out of the window and uh, still not a single cloud inside. So I decided to skip the boathouse, I had my shot from the evening before, and uh, went straight to the other side of the lake, where I wanted to have a little hike. There we go. So Now it's five o'clock in the morning, and after a very quiet night at the lake, or next to the lake, I'm now here a little further and uh, behind me this is roughly where I want to go up to. So it's going to be a nice hike, I have no idea how long it's going to take me. So yeah, let's see how that works. Um, before I'm crossing the road, always look right and then look left. That's because safety first. This is a private road, obviously, but it doesn't matter. It's also a public footpath. And just look at the scenery here on my right. It's really incredible. I mean, if I would not have plunked to get up the hill. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous here. A bit of mist in the valley. Unfortunately, there is, uh, as yesterday, not a single cloud. And when I zoom in, let's see if I can get that. Yeah, up there. See these two waterfalls? This is where I want to go. Off to hike. I made it up the mountain, or oh, well, the hill, however you want to see it. There is behind me this, this beautiful stream coming down the hill. But the main reason why I came up here is on the other side. It's this beautifully shaped, triangular shaped mountain here, it's called Trafan and I've already taken a few shots, wanted to make advantage of the early light so the sun is coming higher now, there is still not a single cloud in the in the sky so for me it's time to have a little breakfast yeah, and then see what other places I can get I had high hopes when I came here to the area I wanted to see how beautiful it is and uh, it is beautiful. It's also pretty noisy. By that I mean it's pretty and it's noisy. Look at it. When we're zooming in down to the lake, it is like a mirror today. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and all the way down there, that white spot right in the center, my motorhome. So I gotta make the way down again. I think I'm gonna be dying, but it's absolutely worth it.
So yeah, I'm halfway down now and uh, I will take a while. And the reason for that is at every corner is something to explore. I just want to be there and want to spend time with beautiful nature because, <laughs> well, I think I repeat myself, but yes, it's drop dead gorgeous. from this morning's walk a little photo tour not too many photos because actually I was a little late but I need to work on my timing especially early mornings but I'm down back here a little bit to walk to the motorhome and there I'm gonna have a nice breakfast and a coffee well deserved well you always hear me moaning about uh, the total absence of clouds um, of course, when you are photographing in such a landscape, you want to have the clouds to yeah, cover the drama, it just suits the scene. Okay, we can't influence it, but uh, a real downside of the total absence of clouds is uh, the light won't be filtered in any way. So you always have harsh light and even worse, harsh shadows, very strong contrasts. And in photographic terms, that's uh, <laughs> not the easiest and also not the most appealing uh, conditions to deal with. But we can't influence the weather, so we got to deal with it and got to try to make the most of it. So now it's past three in the afternoon. Mm. I got out of bed at four in the morning. That's never easy for me. So after the hike we had, or I had in the morning, um, actually I wanted to have a little rest and uh, then do another one. But honestly, I can't get asked. I'm mean, sitting here now at a campsite. Here the barbecue is on already. And uh, yeah, <sighs> a nice pint of cider. Mm. Ah, that's good. So I think I'm gonna do all today. On the other hand, there is a river right behind me. The water is rather shallow, fast flowing, some beautiful rocks in it. Maybe I'm going to grab my camera later. <laughs> yeah, barbecue was great as always. Uh, another little rest and finally I grabbed my camera. I went down to the river to take a few photographs. And uh, when I came back, the missus demanded, let me see what you did, and immediately shouted, this is fake news. <laughs> well, have a look yourself and uh, tell me what you think. <laughs> The Ogwen Valley was on my list of places to visit for a very long time. So I finally did it. All right, the conditions were rather suboptimal. <laughs> and I'm not only talking about the weather. So on my next trip, and it will happen, it will I will certainly not go up there on a bank holiday weekend. It's just way too busy. Um, it starts with finding a place to stay overnight. Too many people around on the paths, on the hikes, on the fields. Well, next time, different time. This is it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I'm looking forward to see you soon again. Bye for now.